TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently we got a mixed bag out here. That mixed bag has the Dow up 187 with the S&P up 17. The interesting thing about that is spot volatility is above its 50-day exponential moving average. She's trading at 1845. That's up uh, 54 pennies today. The Nasdaq 100 is negative. It's off 43 points. The Russell is flat. Semis are down 23. Gold is off 43. Silver down 45 cents out there. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini, the upper left-hand side. You'll see that the uh, uh, price is uh, still finding resistance at the top of its daily profile. That profile right now is at 44, I'm sorry, 47.11.75. So resistance is held. You can see that this is going to be day number two for sure, maybe two and a half above the 50-day exponential moving average, or appears that way. That's currently printed in 1763. That usually leads to a bad outcome for the S&P. In this case here, the ES Mini, we would anticipate that price might be suggesting a retracement back to 46.35. We're going to pay attention to the NQ because the markets aren't really going to top unless the NQ does. Well, if you take a look at today's candle session, you'll see that Friday's high and low has been exceeded. So if the NQ closed just one tick in the downward direction from where it opened up, that would generate a key reversal bar. Now, we'll take a look at this during the Trader's Ed show. There's a Rhodes momentum indicator signal, but price just tested and so far rejected that oscillator and change line. So that's a key level. I don't have that number for you right now, but if you hang tight, uh, you'll get that in about the next 10 minutes or so. The U.S. dollar index has got an A to B equals CD pattern uh, to the upside. Uh, price above the top of its daily profile out there. Looks like it wants to continue to move higher. That next price projection area, 96.81. Goldilocks is testing the bottom of its daily profile, and that level is at 18.16.20. We're trading at 18.11. Price closes below that. The suggestion is that price would pull back to the 17.61, 17.74 area. That is the new weekly bullish structured profile that is attempting to form. Silver holding up better than gold from a profile standpoint has not made its way back to support. So support would be 2409. Of course, it really isn't support because the bullish structured profile, the range for support for silver is 2409 to 2427. Lightspeed crude has got an A to B equals CD to the downside. If it produces a bullish reversal candle, that will generate a Gartley buy pattern. Natural gas testing support. That's at $4.72 and a 30-year treasury just consolidating with inside its daily profile. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, and of course, we'll be back in about uh, four minutes.